Hello everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. You are way back there today because Hudson's bed is between you and me. We're starting to lose the light. Uh, it's just about dinner time and it's been a great day. My studio doesn't have a floor. Um, my studio doesn't have a workspace. <laughs> I have pulled everything out and played. Um, I'm trying to finish two altered books right now so that I can show them to you and so that I can start a new one uh, preparing for Mexico. So, Handsome Hubby's home from Cuba. He went on a photography tour. He had a blast. Um, his photos are gorgeous. And, um, and I've seen a slideshow. So, that's my speed. Is show me a picture. Show me a picture. Show me a picture. <laughs> I have the attention span of a slideshow, but his photos are gorgeous. So anyway, he's home. We're back to uh, fixing dinner, not just having trail mix for dinner, <laughs> which is what I do when he's not home. And so, uh, back to it. All right, fun project ahead. See you on the table. So this is our gorgeous project for today. She's a transfer on some rusty doilies. Very fun. Transfer, gelatos, rusty doily, some inks behind there, some Tim Holtz, um, you know, his tissue paper. This is what you can see through here is his tissue paper through the through the transfer. This was a birthday card. So those are the things that you're going to need for today. Your book, of course. Um, some underpants of a rusty, I actually I used three rusty um, doilies. This was a birthday card. This was a transfer. Laser print, I thought. Ended up I used the original. Too bad. And Stabilo. I believe that's all. Okay, I'm almost done with this book. Um, I'm going to play with the transfer near the back of this book. And then once I get it done, I think I have one more page to do in the book. And then after that, I will show you what has happened. So I have, these are some doilies that uh, I did rust some things and I dried the rusting things on uh, some small doilies. So that's how I got this rusted effect. I'm going to make a transfer out of her, and as you can see, I have uh, cut a piece of her hat away. I needed something apparently on the other side of this page. So we need to mend her a little bit. So I will just take a piece of underpants, a piece of old book text, and I will fill that in. Uh, let's go back to this page a little bit. I am going to grab some, this is some alcohol ink and this is sunshine yellow. And I am just going to put a little bit around in these spots on the doily page where there's no, where there's nothing. So I'm just going to put that alcohol ink there. And then I have this old piece of ratty material because I don't want to waste the ink. So I'll just smooch that around. And let that dry. And then I will bring my transfer woman in. Put a little bit up here. Okay. Beautiful background, huh? All right. Let me set this aside to dry. Let's mend our transfer. 
with some Mod Podge. I've been playing for the last couple of days and <laughs> oh my goodness, my studio. This is this is about how much is clean. Well, this isn't even clean. <laughs> And I put down a brand new piece of paper for you, and I have gunked it all up by playing. But there you have it. Okay. So I'm just going to give her the other part of her hat back. There you go. There you go. Your hat is back. We don't need all this on the back. We're just going to remove that. Good deal. And I'm going to put the first layer of Mod Podge on her and let her dry. So, since we're making the transfer, and I'm sure some of you have done this and played with this and had fun with this, it's a layer of Mod Podge. Let it dry. Another layer of Mod Podge. Let that dry. And then the third layer of Mod Podge. And let that dry. And then we will transfer her. And there is no place <laughs> on this workspace to let her dry. So as I look at this absolutely delicious page, it's, it's quite bumpy which may not work very well with that transfer. So, let's move you again, dear book. Not on top of the transfer, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I grabbed some Tim Holtz uh, paper. It's a tissue paper. So if you have a tissue paper that you like, I'm just going to use that to calm down the bumps. And it has a serrated edge on it where it cuts it. I am not crazy about that. So I am using my trusty ruler to get rid of that. Of course, I'll keep that because that will be good for something else. But I'm going to bring that book back in. And I'm going to put this tissue paper. Oh, do you get the idea of my workspace? <laughs> yeah, any sane person would stop and clean, but no, not yet. So I'm going to take that tissue paper and I'm going to glue it onto that page. Uh, it's going to cover it up a little bit. My yumminess. How am I with that? Yeah, well, you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, we are going to put a generous amount of Mod Podge on there. Keeping in mind that I'm trying to make a smoother surface for that transfer. I don't care if the edges are ragged. Rather like that. Okay, keep your fingers crossed that this goes kind of transparent. I'll take translucent. Yes, I will. Okay. What do you think? 
I'm just ripping the edge now so that I can see my oh yummy edge. Oh, that's kind of neat, huh? Oh, sticky, sticky fingers. All right. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. That is going to be just fine. Oh, and that little doily behind there over here. Mm, mm, mm. Delish. to let some pieces dry. So while that first layer of Mod Podge is drying, I want to show you my latest uh, love letter that I got from Mary. I think Mary must work at a vet, or she is a vet. Oh, pardon my messages on my phone. Um, but she has sent so many little goodies there's just too many to even show you um, because she just she spent or sent some spices and herbs for texture. She's got a little uh, gorgeous dangle here. Um, she's got some carva stamps, some hinges, which I love. I have no place to put these while I'm showing you. This is a fun little bag that she made. Some gorgeous fabric. She's got some hammered out wire, tongue depressors, always needed. These, I'm so excited about. These are expired um, rabies tags. Look at these hands. These are so much fun. So I got a lot of, uh, here's some of that sticky tape that you put around your wound, your, like when you donate blood. Here's some hooks like for a pegboard, I think. Um, these are the droppers. You can always use those with the alcohol. Uh, she sent some syringes. That's going to be a challenge to figure out what to do with the syringes. So, so that's, yeah, delicious. Now this is a package that I got from, um, did, did I say this was from Mary? I hope I said that was from Mary. So, uh, let's see if I can find the card on this one. Where is that little card? Because it tells me. Whew, I found the note. <laughs> so, these goodies are from Jody. And um, her little note says, thanking you for sending me the cards to embellish. I will have lots of fun with them. Love watching your videos. Um, please enjoy this junk journal kit I have made. Lots of love from Jody. And Jody lives in, um, in the UK. So that was very kind of her. This has a very fun stamp on it. Um, so yeah, so all of this stuff came in this gorgeous kit, this gorgeous envelope that she created. It looks like a napkin on there. Get that sewing machine out, Jody. Get that sewing machine out. So there's the bottle cap, embellished bottle cap, and a paper clip, and all kinds of pages, very fun pages and tags and things like that that I will use in my books. So thank you so much, Jody. Oh, I forgot to show you this is pieces of leather from Mary. How about that? What am I gonna do with that? Don't know. All right, so that those are my love letters that I've gotten. And I do have some big thank yous to send out. Um, oh, Linda. <laughs> it's so cute because Linda donated some money to, the, um, to our village. And on the PayPal thing, 
she said, here's some money for your water bill. <laughs> oh, very funny, Linda. Thank you. I'll be able to shower. That's great. And Susan sent some money, and Janelle sent some money. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You, you have no idea how much that helps. And Nikki, I am going to be sending you some tags and templates. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. All right, let's see if our uh, little transfer guy is dry enough to add more tran or to add more pot mod podge to. Yes, we are. Yes, we are going to add the second layer of mod podge to her. She's large, so I know she's going to be larger than the one-page spread that I have. For her to go on, but that's okay. That is okay. We will figure it out as we go. All right. Back in your secret spot to dry, my friend. And where do you think? So here's our page. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. I love this edge. This is just gorgeous. So as soon as she's ready to transfer, we're going to slap her on there. This is nice and smooth, so I think that the transfer will adhere nicely. Well, it's bumpy, but smooth. You know. Bumpy, but smooth. You know. Okay, back to the transfer. You can tell when the Mod Podge is dry because it's clear. A little milky here, so it's not quite dry there. But I'm okay with that. So I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to put one more layer of Mod Podge on her and let her dry. You can use your heat stick to dry the Mod Podge. Just keep the heat stick moving because uh, it'll bubble and that is not good. So if you're hurrying things along, which I am familiar with just a little. Then you can use your heat gun. Just don't get too close and keep the heat gun moving so you don't bubble your Mod Podge. So this is my last coat of Mod Podge on her. And I will let that dry and then we are going to put her on her page. Exciting. So remember, I just uh, printed her on printer paper, and when you feel it after she has the three layers of Mod Podge on it, it's delicious. So let's grab that book. Okay, so what I'm going to do with her is I'm going to lay her in there, see where she's going to fit. And then I am going to remove that excess with a pair of scissors. Straight as an arrow, I'm sure. Hi, Hudson. So that will go up there. We'll have a little bit over here. And I don't know if that's going to stick or not. We shall see. We shall see. All right, one last layer of Mod Podge on her. Generous layer. She has a little bit of uh, sanding block grit on her neck. Little texture, baby. All right, now we will put her on her page. And we will rub her down. So you don't want to put Mod Podge on this side of the transfer because it makes it too difficult to uh, get the paper off. So we're just going to really push her down the best we can and then we will let her dry. Not 
don't know how it's going to stick to that doily. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let me push her down really, really well. When you think you have her pushed down to the best of your ability, then let her dry. I don't want any bubbles in there if you can help it. So whatever you want to use to burnish. You can use the back of a spoon. You can use a credit card, gift card. You can use paper towel like I'm doing. Doesn't matter. Just get it down as best you can. Then let it dry. All right, let's get it wet and start rolling. in a few. Alright, so there's a couple of things going on here uh, other than me just making a mess. <laughs> so uh, when I came in after it had dried for a while and I came in to remove my transfer, I was looking at images. It's like, hmm, alright. So then of course the brain kicks in and it's just like, I am not using a laser print copy. I am using the original copy out of the book. So that presents two problems for this girl. One, I've just used the original, which is a bummer because I like to use the original over and over in laser copies. So that means there's a laser copy around here someplace, right? And two, um, I don't know if you've read Julianne's posts about her transfers. She's been doing some magazine image transfers and sometimes it's a little bit hard to get all the paper off. So I'm just having my fingers crossed here that I can get all the paper off her. We shall see. She feels like she's cleaning up pretty good, but we'll see if she stays foggy. Now another thing, can you see this bubble here? So I don't know if the bubble, I think probably the bubble is right under the Mod Podge. So that means I can rub her away in that spot very, very easily. And so, of course I don't want to do that. So I'll have to be careful over in this area. It may be stuck to the page, uh, it may not be stuck to the page, but I will uh, use caution in this area when I am rubbing. All right, I'm going to continue rubbing. She looks beautiful, huh? Okay, I had to take a break and walk Mr. Hudson and start dinner, which is chicken sausage with mozzarella and artichokes, uh, rice pilaf, broccoli spears, spring mix salad with cranberries and avocados. <clears throat> so that's on its way. Hudson is happy he's had a walk. And I'm back to rolling this off. Just wanted you to see that we're still doing it and domestic chores <laughs> are taken care of for this moment. Okay, she feels pretty clean. I'm happy with her. And this is a plain card somebody gave me. I'm going to cut some of these flowers out uh, with my X-Acto and I'm going to glue them on her hat area. All right, <laughs> so I hope I love this after I get it all cut out. Well, 
I'm going to love it, right? Whew. Oh, look at there. Yes. Yes, we love it. Let's bring her back in. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, huh? I'm going to use some tacky glue because this is a little stiffer than just the paper. So I'll bring some tacky glue in. And I will spread it with my trusty finger. Best tool in the world. Come back in here, sweetheart. Almost at a ta-da moment. Well, I think that's a ta-da moment. That's pretty fun, huh? All right, I'm going to shadow her edges with the Stabilo. My favorite spit and smudge. her. So I'm going to grab my gelato. I'm going to grab a, a pinky peach gelato. So here are my choices of the pinks. I'm going to go bold. So I'm going to bring that gold, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to bring that gold back in that we've lost. There we go.
There we go. Ta-da. She's gorgeous. All right, another transfer. We're almost there. You can almost see the back of the book. Not oh, oh, oh. So I believe we have one more page. I believe we have this page right here to do, and that's it. So then we can walk through the whole book together. All right, go create, go play, go have fun.